to you today. I want to talk about the PetSmart pet care plan that I have for this guy, Titus. And so I was looking for reviews on this program, on this health care plan with Banfield. And I didn't see any for cats, really. There's a lot of videos from the, from the company itself talking about cat care, which is great. They are very professional, very well done. But I wanted to see some reviews from people who actually use it. And it's specifically from young black women like myself who, you know may be low on funds like I am in this society today right now. And also, you know, we are always, you know, treated differently in this country. So I really wanted to see what our experience has been like with this company. And... I have been subscribed to this pet care plan for the last two months now. And I have taken my sweet boy to the doctor two times now. First was just for a checkup for like a wellness exam because he's older now. Matter of fact, he is 12 years old today. And also, he had some trouble using the litter box. Um, in particular, doing number two. And I was trying everything I could. The natural home remedies like pumpkin and... Also, helping him get more water, and uh, he was still having quite a bit of trouble with that, so I wanted to make sure he was okay, and it would become more easier for him to use the bathroom every day, um, and just that he was, you know, well in every way as he is getting older. So, my experience is that I paid for the plan at the end of March 2023. That was when he first had his um, wellness exam. And it was really great. The vet, I looked her up before I went. Um, I saw her in some vet publications, and I knew that she was a new, younger vet. And when I got there, she was very kind, very nice. And um, he actually had some trouble with fleas, too, around that time, because the uh, regular over-the-counter flea medicine that I was using wasn't really helping that much. So, um, they checked out his skin and they recommended a new flea solution that you put on his coat, uh, whereas I have been trying Frontline and Advantage and things like that that you can get from store sales. They gave me something called Revolution and, um... I have been using that now for the past two months, March and April. It's almost time to use it again. Um, I've still seen a few fleas, like two, three fleas here and there around the end of the cycle when it's time to give another dose. And um, they gave me all six doses for the first six months. And I just pay a little bit extra, like $17 extra per month on top of the wellness plan for, for him and for, the, for his health care, his visits, and this 
added fleek hair. And uh, when you research the fleek hair, it says that in the first three months, the fleas will be drastically reduced. You might see two or three, but the revolution is working and it's going to reduce it. I still don't like seeing those things on him because uh, that means they're in my house and that means they are giving him flea dermatitis, flea allergy rest, which he gets really badly, but um, he currently doesn't have that rash. He's doing really good. This flea medicine, if you do see fleas while you're using it, it makes the fleas like uh, really lethargic and uh, kind of sick, if you will, themselves. So you can easily pick them off with this medicine being used uh, on your cat's coat. So that is great. But let me get into the pet plan that I actually picked for Titus. Because he is older, I decided to pick the most expensive plan, which costs about $50 a month. And I'll try to remember everything that's part of it. But um, because he's older, he needs more specialized care and just more care in general to help him with his age. So this plan includes unlimited doctor's visits, um, a few virtual visits, I think two of those at least, and also unlimited vaccinations that he may need in the year, and also it includes just a full workup, x-rays, and any kind of blood samples or any kind of specimens that need to be tested, uh, any samples. Also, it includes dental cleaning. And I really liked that. I knew that he needed all of that. He hadn't had it in a while uh, as I have been underemployed and finding it difficult to... Uh, take care of the health care for me or for him. So recently when my finances got better, I was excited about this opportunity with PetSmart and Banfield to take care of him. And this opportunity has been overall great. Um, at his first appointment, they gave him all the shots that he was behind on as a house cat. So he needed his rabies shot, feline leukemia shot, and another shot for feline virus. And they gave him that at the end of March. And, <clears throat> excuse me, so one thing that happened with that is that the next day he... His face swelled up from, like, a complication of the vaccine. And I'd never seen that happen before in all of my time of having adopted him and him living with me for the past seven years. Um, he had gotten his shots at the animal humane shelter that he was in. And that happened before he was in my care. So um, it took me a while through the day to realize that his face had swollen up and actually the the um, office was closed when I realized and I didn't have the app on my phone and I didn't realize that I could contact them. Uh, you can contact some doctors from Banfield 24-7 with the app on your phone, which is another great thing about the Banfield pet care plans. So I know that now, and uh, that's a great perk. But um, it went down by the second day after the shots, so he was back to his self, and uh, that was a complication that I talked about at the next appointment. So the next appointment that happened at the end of April, 
was after I had taken the doctor's recommendations in March and gotten him some pre and probiotics to try to help him to use the litter box. And they didn't help as much as we liked um, continuing him on a vegetable rich diet didn't help as much as we liked. So for the dental cleaning, they were going to put him to sleep and do some x-rays and of his teeth and also do some x-rays of his GI tract to see how bad the constipation was and how they can help him with that. And also do a checkup on his skin. So I had wanted to talk to the doctor about those shots and that complication. And they said next time they would give him some medicine to make sure he wouldn't have an allergic reaction. Um, one thing that did happen, the nurse tried to tell me that he was behind on the shots and I needed to do them again on that second appointment at the end of April, about two weeks 